Welcome to Coma F Berlin, where I have Har with me. Am I saying it correctly? Har? Yeah. Har. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay, great. Uh, oh, can we start with a little introduction? Uh, who and what is band called Har? Who? Who and what is a band called Har? Ah, uh, Har is a five-piece uh, black death, somewhere in between uh, metal band from Israel. Uh, and that's it. It's our own interpretation of the of this music, our own personal interpretation. Uh, that's it. Uh, you don't every day, you know, come across with a black metal band from Israel. So uh, how is the scene in uh, Israel? Uh, the scene. How's the scene in Israel? Uh, uh, I guess it's pretty small. Because uh, like. Uh, most of the metal heads in Israel are uh, really into like the modern metal uh, but we have like a small black metal scene uh, death metal and death metal of course like uh, underground and uh, it's growing you know yeah you see a lot of younger kids you know they already know more than we knew like you know they have the internet and all that so you see some new bands coming up as well and some friends of ours started to bring bands that we feel are more relevant for nowadays like uh, Rev Miasma, Saturnale Tempo, like bands that the more established promoters they don't bring this kind of music so <clears throat> uh, there is more than ever let's say but it's not like big or anything and it's like I think all the bands that he mentioned it's more or less the same people and friends like Sony Adam, if you know, and uh, Venom of Skeleton, and uh, Motus Umba, which is him and that guy, uh, and uh, his brother. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of an incest. It's like <laughs> in the family, you know. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so. Uh... You guys have some other projects too, so uh, what kind of metal history do you have personally? Uh, uh, well, my metal history is quite short. I used to do a lot of uh, electronic, industrial stuff <clears throat> myself and I uh, got bored with it over the years. And I, like, I always used to listen to metal, just all kind of stuff, but it became very more and more specific, more towards uh, uh, black metal like second wave and then uh, afterwards I discovered first wave like everything was the other way around for me <clears throat> and uh, yeah uh, that 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 how it worked for me but I guess that for them it was there from a really young age uh, so. uh, uh, personally I like uh, uh, I started to listen to metal like uh, when I started to listen to music, actually, you know, uh, <clears throat> Sepultura, uh, and then like death metal, American death metal, Morbid Angel, this side, and then the second wave of black metal, like I was a teenager, so I was really into it, and that's it for me, I guess, yeah. Uh, for me, it was much uh, like the same as uh, our drummer. Uh, but yeah, we play in uh, other bands with the time, like before the R, we play in uh, punk bands and metal bands, and that's it, like, uh, I grew up, I found uh, one cassette of Metallica, and that's it, from there, from there I'm looking for the extreme thing all the time, like, uh, that, this is my path and my way into metal. Uh, you released your second EP, Visitation, uh, earlier this year. Uh, what can you tell me about that EP? Uh, well, it's a three-piece uh, EP, not very uh, long, but I think for us it's like a, from the first uh, recording we did, it's like a sort of a progress because the first one was only one guitar player and um, who left the band already and the sound was very towards more traditional black atmosphere <clears throat> and in the second 
I mean, until we recorded the second, it was sort of a, a search into something more uh, specific and try to obscure, like try to uh, um, uh, mix elements that uh, we felt that we want to uh, express, which are drawn more from like a, a, a bit of death metal and a bit of uh, like more barbaric uh, uh, black metal sound, um, like bestial metal and stuff like that <clears throat> and um, yeah so it's a lot it's like a fast it's a progression from the first one which really you can really distinct uh, you can really see that hear the difference between the two uh, uh, yeah and so yeah so is there a full-length album in yeah. the future uh, is there? Uh, we we hope so, but uh, because I live here in Berlin and they live in Israel, so the pro progress is really depends on uh, you know how much we can uh, uh, make because it's hard to communicate sometimes like this. But uh, yeah, I think we don't want to disappear for too long. I mean, we want to continue uh, just create more music, so. If it might be not um, full length, maybe a mini LP, something like that. Just and yeah, I don't know. I think nowadays uh, most albums don't really justify themselves as full lengths. Um, so and also the listening habits of people is different. So I think EPs and mini LPs can work also. Uh, but yeah, it would be ideal if we had like tons of songs ready and we can just put out an album but for now we're taking it pretty slow um, yeah okay uh, you are playing live tonight at here at coma uh, f yeah uh, what kind of experience is uh, hard gig I think uh, I, I would like to think that uh, um, it's beyond the music you know and uh, it's the atmosphere which is um, intense and chaotic and like uh, the set list uh, itself is uh, yeah, looking you can look and hear it like in the show it gets like like to fall in the abyss uh, in a way you know it's get more uh, intense and heavy and <coughs> and uh, brutal in a way you know um, and I think this feeling this vibe is uh, projected you know pretty well yeah okay thank you so much guys and uh, break a leg tonight thank you, thank you very much I hope that it was uh... <laughs>